Hello everyone. I am going to tell a story and the title of the story is The Lazy Monk and the Path to Discipline. In a small Zen monastery nestled in the mountains of Japan, there was a monk named Ryota. Ryota was known throughout the monastery for his laziness, while other monks would rise early to meditate, tend the gardens, and study the sacred texts. Ryota would often be found sleeping late in the morning, avoiding chores and daydreaming. One day, the wise and revered master Hakuin called Ryota to his chamber. Ryota, Master Hakuin said gently, I have noticed that you struggle with laziness. This is a burden on your path to enlightenment and a hindrance to our community. I will give you a task that if completed will help you overcome this challenge. Ryota, feeling a mix of shame and curiosity, bowed and asked, What is the task, Master? Master Hakuin handed Ryota a small, simple broom. Your task, he said, is to sweep the garden paths every morning before the sun rises. You must do this diligently and mindfully every day for one month. In doing so, you will learn the value of discipline. Reluctantly, Ryota accepted the broom and the task. The first morning, he struggled to wake up before dawn. His body ached and his mind was filled with excuses to stay in bed. But he remembered his master's words and forced himself to rise. He dragged himself to the garden and began to sweep. At first, his movements were sluggish and careless, but as the day passed, something began to change. Each morning, Ryota found it a little easier to get out of bed. He began to notice the beauty of garden in the early morning light. The way the dew sparkled on the leaves, the gentle rustle of wind through the trees, and the serene silence before the day began. His sweeping became more purposeful and mindful. He started to feel a sense of peace and accomplishment with each completed task. As the month went on, Ryota's transformation didn't go unnoticed. The other monks saw his newfound dedication and began to respect him for his efforts. More importantly, Ryota started to respect himself. He realized that discipline was not about rigid rules or harsh punishment, but about developing a sense of purpose and responsibility. On the final day of month, Ryota approached Master Hakuin. Master, he said, I have completed the task you set for me. I have swept the garden paths every morning for a month. What should I do now? Master Hakuin smiled warmly. Ryota, you have learned an important lesson. Discipline is not just about doing the task assigned to you but about embracing them with mindfulness and dedication. Continue to apply this lesson to all aspects of your life and you will find that overcoming laziness is just the beginning of your journey. Ryota bowed deeply, filled with gratitude and renewed sense of purpose. From that day forward, he continued to rise early not only to sweep the garden, but to meditate, study, and help his fellow monks. He had discovered the profound truth that through discipline, one could find freedom and inner peace.
and so rayota's journey from laziness to discipline became an inspiration to all who heard his story reminding them that true change comes from within and that the path to enlightenment is paved with mindful effort and dedication thank you